That's better. Hey, how's it going? It's Drew MC here with yet another irrelevant weekly update. Uh, it's been some time since I did the last one. I hope you don't offend me, but I had swine flu. It was Christmas, blah, blah, blah. Every possible excuse in the book. I was absorbed by the Matrix. Okay. So, first story today. Uh, the Daily Mail.co.uk is uh, reporting that after a long period of worrying, the major swine flu pandemic is officially over. So, after a mighty scare, mankind can sleep easier knowing that these horrible, vile, disgusting animals can't hurt us anymore. They will soon return to being little more than dispensers for delicious bacon supplements that all humans must eat to grow strong enough to avoid the swine flu. The thing that really ticks me off about the, uh, the whole thing is that we've had warnings about something like this happening before. Now you can clearly see in this poster for the 1995 movie Babe, all the other animals are afraid of Babe and giving him good distance. That's because they know, as charming and as adorable as he was, he was a harbinger of death. And disease. They knew to stay the hell away from them, uh, if only we have a species that paid more attention. I wish there was some way we could have some kind of advance warning that uh, somewhere on the planet people had previously prepared vaccines or saw it coming. I mean, I know you think we'd have some kind of advanced knowledge. And Aren't there people out there that this is supposed to be their job, you know, worrying about shit like this so we don't all die? <sighs> but in all fairness, how could they possibly know what was coming? A swine flu epidemic may be coming. Swine flu shot? Well, I don't know. I've been thinking about it. It could make you very sick. Swine flu? Man, I'm too fast to let it catch me. You'll want to be protected. I'm the healthiest 55-year-old you've ever seen. Hey, I play golf every weekend. Get a shot of protection. The swine flu shot. Okay. Son of a bitch. That was a commercial from the 1970s. Uh, you you're telling me nobody could get on their shit more in the past 40 years? Well, at least all we have to worry about now is AIDS and cancer, bird flu, and SARS. Seriously, uh, all right, listen. I was looking for a picture that could actually adequately represent SARS or China or whatever. All I could find is Toronto, and I kind of hate Toronto, so I can't win. And uh, all aside, in all seriousness, uh, I believe we should still continue to remain vigilant about the real threats plaguing our day-to-day -day life, like the constant enroachment of the evil Sith. Oh yeah, I haven't fucking forgot about you. Okay, in other news, Metro.co.uk is reporting the appointment of Pakistan's new ambassador to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it has met with some uncomfortable reactions from the Saudi side. The ambassador not only served in the same capacity in South America, but he was also the High Commissioner designate to Canada. There are all kinds of reasons that an ambassadorial appointment might make someone comfortable, as it is a very delicate position at best. For an expl explanation of why this particular endorsement is a problem, here are some stoners. His name means biggest dick. Thank you, boys. His name is Akbar Zib, which does indeed translate to biggest dick. I swear I tried to find a picture of the dude, but this is all I got in a search for Akbar. So I always thought Akbar meant keenly aware of the obvious. Yes, it is. But obviously, I'm an idiot who watches too much fucking Star Wars. Now, the Saudis are not fans of this and have made it clear that besides being wholly unimpressed, they won't accept Zib's appointment. It is unclear at this time what the actual size of Mr. Zib's penis is. But uh, looking at global statistics, the uh, average lingam tends to linger around 6.5 inches. There are, of course, those of us who tend towards the larger, the much larger, and uh, those who tend to the much smaller. But I'm sure, to say, I'm sure it's safe to say that Zib's dongle isn't any bigger than your average Willy Wanker. His bobs are, balls are probably massive, though. And that about does it for this week in the Relevant News Update. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm your host, Drew MC. As always, make sure to email any comments or questions to drewmc at therelevant.com. And uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe link. Come on. Yeah, you guys had another part. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, keep it going, come on.
Walk up. What, what do we do? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You're high, remember? Sorry, we're really high. Yeah. I'm a fucking kite. We all are. Yeah.